Hi, this is Jennifer with Bits and Pieces of Beauty. Today I have a hair cutting tutorial for you. And if you're interested, please keep watching. I'm gonna talk about my hair first. My hair is very thin and currently it's shorter in the back because I cut it A-line previously. So today I just wanted to cut the front a little more and even out my hair and give subtle layers to it. So let's get started. I'm gonna take a hairbrush and brush my hair first. Then I'm gonna take a comb and part my hair in the middle. take a hair tie and I basically see the length I want it at. I just want to cut really really little. See, I want to even that out so I'll be cutting about an inch and a half off in the front. When you tie it, try to have it laying flat against you, not like lifted or it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be crooked. So try to have it flat against you then bring it to the center, right under my jaw. I think that much is good. These are hair cutting scissors you can get at a beauty salon. I have a garbage can in front of me. Start off little by little so you can make it shorter and shorter versus chopping it all off and then regretting it later. But yeah, so maybe I'll start off with an inch first. Then I'm gonna cut upwards so it's not so blunt. You don't have to do it too much. Just enough. I have very little hair. But yeah, it's okay. Life goes on. It's still a little shorter in the back, so I'm just going to cut it a little more. I'm gonna cut half an inch more, maybe. For the layers, I'm gonna take go to the top of my forehead to where the top of my eyebrow starts and it's about this distance. I'm gonna go place my thumb on top of my forehead and where my comb it ends, I'm gonna bring it down to the back of my ear. I like to give subtle layers to the front pieces. I'm just gonna gather it all to the front. You see it's uneven. So I'm going to even it out. I'm gonna comb it to the front again and then cut upwards so it's not too 
so it's not too blunt. From here I like to add more, a little bit more layers, like if you see these pieces, this is optional. I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to go to the top of my forehead to where my, the top of my eyebrow is and use that as a measurement. And this time I'm going to go to the front of my sideburns and connect. As for these pieces, I like to have the layer start from my chin, so I use my chin as a guide. So I gather everything to the front and I don't completely shut the scissor as I trim the hair, but I just slightly glide the scissors down. So from here, I'm I'm going to start from here. And I'm gliding. I'm just little by little trimming. Same for this side. Then I let down my hair. So as you can see, my hair still looks kind of flat. So I add more subtle layers. Let's go from the edge of this eyebrow to the edge of this eyebrow. If you're unsure of how far you should go back, I would say use the palm of your hand as a reference. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry about it too much. I'm going to clip these pieces down and then bring the rest of my hair back. I'm going to bring these pieces down. I'm going to part my hair in the middle again. So you part your hair in the middle. I'm going to twist it away from my face. I'm using my chin as a guide. I'm going to glide my scissors down again. Using my chin as a guide. gives it more dimension and volume to your hair 
without looking too choppy. If you want, you can go in and do more random pieces and use your chin as a guide. I use my chin as a guide because that's the shortest I want my layers to be. But yeah. And then you have like subtle layers in the front. And I like to part my hair this way. This is a more natural tussled look. But I'm gonna go blow dry my hair. So I went ahead and blow dried my hair so you can have a better view of what my hair looks like. And this is the final look. There's like subtle layers coming out that help boost my hair with more volume and more texture. And I'll show you the back. I'm not a professional, but I've been cutting my hair for a really long time since middle school. I would go to a Korean salon and I'd ask those old ajumas or old ladies for a little, a little, a little trim, but they would get super scissor happy and just chop off all my hair and make me cry. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to cut my own hair. And that's how it all started. Through a lot of trial and error, this is how I currently cut my hair. Hope you guys give it a shot and I hope you enjoyed this look. From him and me to you, good luck.